Hello everybody, I hope you're keeping well in these difficult times. I just want to give a quick update on the portfolio and let everybody know what I've been doing during this time. It is difficult, but stick around, see what's going on. Welcome back everybody and I just want to do a quick update and show you what's going on. I haven't shaved in a couple days. It's been a little bit rough I know for everybody. What we have going on here is the video portfolio. You'll notice that it's grown quite a bit and what I've done is buy buy buy. It's up at $4,453 you'll see and with that I've been buying. If we go into the activity and we look at the activity type and we say trading. I've sold a few things and I've bought a few things. We look at all the buys we have here and a few sells. Now mainly what I sold was ETFs because I, I really want to be out of the ETFs honestly and when we had these good deals going with, with the, uh, the individual stocks I most certainly want to be out of ETFs because I want to take advantage of those stocks. So this is what we had going on. All the buys, 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 every day buying while the market was down and I know it's up right now and I'm not sure it's gonna stay as high as it is right now it might go, drop back down a little bit but I think for the most part we're gonna be okay and as you can see right now I got a well money weighted average return of, of 23.12 percent which I don't think is a great way to to do that but uh, if we look in our holdings we'll see everything that we have so the cost basis was this we're up at that we've gained this much 4.85% on what we're holding now. We did have United Technologies and it's spun off Otis and Carrier, which for some reason I didn't like the way M1 Finance handled that with our account. Yeah, pretty much they, they spun that off and I got cash for those two and then I've got I got shares for RTX and I, I'm not sure why that did that or how that did that or if I did something wrong in there to uh, change that up so I'm not gonna say it's M1 Finance's fault totally but uh, I certainly didn't like the way that happened so I'm not sure but I bought Delta Airlines uh, Southwest Airlines Raytheon Technologies let's see what we got the most of here now got rid of all the ETFs as I said Carnival Cruise Lines we bought that a lot when it was down. Yeah, you can see the cost basis and the average price I paid for it and how much I'm down on each one of these positions. Or uh, uh, Foot Locker, we bought quite a bit. AT&T, I went on a buying spree. I mean, pretty much every day I was buying something. So I was putting money into items. Sometimes it was little amounts in each one of these because I do have 66 uh, positions. And I, I initially was buying into the ETFs too until they went up. A, a little bit so I got got a little bit more on that and uh, went ahead and sold off of them and bought all these positions so you'll see what we have 66 positions quite interesting if we go to the portfolio take a look at it we have three pieces of our pie now with the ETF section gone I'm in stocks only in positions and companies which is what I wanted to be anyway I was doing the ETFs to show people how to do that not really my forte I didn't really care for that so here we are with the dividend stocks, gross stocks, and high dividend stocks. So if we take a look in dividend stocks, let's see all the ones we have. And I know a few of these have dropped their dividends for the time being, Delta Airlines being one of those. Uh, Southwest Airlines, I think, has two or probably will. But uh, that's fine. I think they'll pick them back up eventually. And I I was happy to get in them at the prices that I got into them. I didn't get them at, in everything at the rock bottom prices because I was buying all the way down and then all the way back up again and that's fine I'm done with the main part of the buying right now I'll probably every Monday just go ahead and be putting in some money that's what I plan to do over the next few months and uh, and see how we go if there are some interesting buys out there some things that I can buy under the cost basis of, of where I, what I have them at now that's fine I'll do that if not then uh, we'll spread it out just buy into everything because I do want my money working for me uh, might build a little bit more of a cash cash position because I did put a lot of cash in into the market over the last month and a half. You see, I have Otis and Carrier down here at zero. It was a weird spinoff. So uh, Raytheon Technologies and United Tech or Raytheon and United Technologies uh, merged, and United Technologies 
at the same time spun off their Otis and Carrier uh, portions of their business. You had two businesses before. You had United Technologies, Raytheon Technology, or Raytheon, and they combined, and United Te- Technologies spun off Carrier and Otis. What a mess. So yeah, it it was interesting. I'll show you an activity here real quick. What that looked like. Yeah. So I got plus and minus shares. I guess they sold my shares. Stock split. I'm I'm not sure how that went through. At any rate, none. They never showed up in my account. I put a position in there as one percent because I did want that want to have them. Be great. But like carrier, I don't know what's going on here. So not all of it got sold. <laughs> Looks like I got some shares, but some of it got sold. I don't understand why that is. If anybody knows, you can explain that to me. So I'm still waiting for that to pan out. I might have to write to them and, and uh, figure out what's going on with that. For growth stocks, go in there and look, see what we have. I put Carnival in there because I think it's going to grow after everything gets back on its feet. Wind Resorts, obviously. Bought, bought into that when it was low. It's going up now. Doing pretty good on that. As you can see, all these growth stocks I'm doing great on. In fact, some of them didn't even, the ones that I had before, didn't even go down that much during the big dip, as it were. So, doing pretty good on our positions on on growth. And I'm overall very happy with that portion of the pie. High dividend stocks, take a look at that real quick. Got rid of all the ETFs out of there. Don't like the ETFs. I do like some of these companies, though. Put Foot Locker in there. It has a very high dividend. And it was just an opportunity buy because, honestly, it got down so low that I, I think it was it was too tempting. AbV, Verizon, AT&T, all of these, they were pretty low. And I uh, bought into them. And as you can see, we're doing <laughs> quite well on the returns on those as well. So let's hope that keeps going. Again, I think there's going to be a little bit of a dip. Uh, the biggest thing that I have to work on still is the dividend growth stocks. As you can see, we have some positions where we're down quite a bit. And this Raytheon Technologies one, I don't think is, is reporting right because of the spinoff and everything that happened. I didn't lose $22 in that. I, I don't know exactly what's going on. I've bought into it recently. Also, maybe that'll straighten out. But Delta, maybe I could improve my position there a little bit more to uh, buy down from where I am. Let's see what I got it at. $25.83 for these, average share. And it's at twenty four thirty nine now, so maybe I can improve my position in that. It's great. Uh, look at this, American Express. That is crazy. <laughs> now I didn't have a very big position in it, but I bought when it was way down, and I've just been eyeballing these. And as they got knocked way down, I bought into them, and they've come back up off those lows. Quite lucky, I'd say. Or if you look at history, that's kind of what happened. So do do I think that it's the end? Uh, of all the craziness? No. I think we, we're in a little bit of vol- volatility here for the next month or two. We'll see. Some of these positions, like I said, there's still room for me to uh, improve on. Can maybe buy them while they're down below what I've paid for them. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Improve those positions. I do like them. As you can see, I've already got some marked to, to buy on Monday. So we'll see how that goes. But overall, a very good, solid portfolio now. If we go into the research for this my pies if we look at the video portfolio we'll see what it looks like okay so for the five year it's up 9.01 percent which it only goes back to April 2nd possibly because of the uh, the spin-off that that's a new one and so it's it's gonna cut it off at when that spun off and when that combined that merger with the Raytheon technology because it doesn't have information beyond that I guess is what it is but if we look at the dividend yield it's 3.545 percent really solid yield I like that on my dividends and we have a bit of growth I'm, I'm happy overall with the portfolio as it stands right now like I said I can improve on some of the positions that I have I'm gonna keep buying uh, when I see a, a chance to do that and um, we'll see how it goes that's it for the update though uh, as far as what's gonna happen in the future on this channel you'll see me doing the buys every Monday and I'll be putting those in there uh, you saw what I have lined up this time, we'll, but we'll go over those stocks individually, and I'll tell you why I'm buying into, into those, and over time we'll just see how we do. And thanks for watching.